Hi, my name is Randall Loy and you found me on the Infertility Channel. I'm an infertility specialist in Central Florida. And today we're going to be talking about a question I've had over and over and over again through the years. Are there birth defects associated with IVF? In other words, if we handle your eggs and sperm and embryos outside of the body, do the conditions in the lab cause birth defects? I can give you a very long-winded answer to that, but the short answer that I want you to remember is no. IVF does not cause birth defects in children. Now, there are several studies I'd like to talk a little bit about. One is the big study of over 300,000 births from the New England Journal of Medicine, which was published in mid-2012. Now, in patients who underwent IVF, the birth defect rate was around 8% as opposed to 5.8% for those patients who did not undergo IVF. But when confounding factors were looked at, patient's age and underlying health, it was realized that it was the underlying factors related to infertility that were responsible and not the procedures themselves. Another big study from Adelaide, Australia, has found the same, that if they looked at socioeconomic status, ethnicity, and the patient's health, those factors go away. Finally, a study out of Denmark from 2006 looked at infertility patients who conceived spontaneously compared to the patients who underwent IVF, and the rate of birth defects was identical. Now, we know that infertility patients who do conceive spontaneously have a higher birth defect rate than patients of the same age who conceive spontaneously who don't have infertility issues. That was a mouthful. Basically, it's this. If you have infertility, there are underlying issues that might increase birth defects, whether you go through IVF or not. For example, congenital heart defects, cerebral palsy, those rates go up a little bit. And if you need ICSI, if there is, for example, a problem with sperm production related to a little piece of the Y chromosome missing, you can transmit that to your sons. So those are some examples of birth defects that have been found in these particular studies out of the United States. Australia, and Denmark. In summary, IVF does not cause birth defects in children. We have to look at other factors, other problems in the dad or the mom. We have to look at sperm, we have to look at eggs, and then we can better understand embryos and the subsequent pregnancies in children. So I have a story. A few weeks ago, my lab tech came into my office and she said, how long has it been since Mr. Jones has had an ejaculation? kind of a curious question, but we get those in our field. So I said, why, why would you ask that? And she says, well, his tadpoles have short tails and hind legs. So I wasn't sure if that was an ejaculation problem or if in fact, Mr. Jones just has funny looking sperm. Uh, but birth defects do not come from IVF. From the handling of eggs and sperms and embryos, they actually probably originate from intrinsic factors that are the basis for infertility in the first place. Thanks so much for joining us this week. I look forward to seeing you next week on the Infertility Channel. Be sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe to catch all new episodes each week here on the Infertility Channel. Plus, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I love hearing from you. Comment below or tell me what you want to see on future episodes by sending me an email to comments at infertilitychannel.org. Until next week.